Hi, let's try to understand what has changed with Eagle since the day the course was created. Now, you just understand one thing that when the course was created, the Eagle software was available freely to download from the Autodesk website. And after that, very recently, Eagle and another of the Autodesk product that is Fusion 360, which is primarily used for designing 3D and 2D enclosures and all sort of 2D, 3D designs, they have been mixed together and formed a package. And Eagle, if you want to use for manufacturing purpose or for enterprise or basically commercial purpose, then it's only available along with the Fusion 360. But it doesn't mean that we as tinkerers and developers cannot use Eagle for experimentation and learning. We definitely can. And let's see where it is available. So here I am on the autodesk.com website. If I go to products, I'll see Fusion 360 over here. And here you can see everything related to Fusion 360. So it has some particular uh, membership that is per month, per year, something like that. And it also comes with unified PCB design built into it. However, we are not here for Fusion 360 and what we want to do, what we want to use now is PCB design. So instead of that, what I'll do is, because I, if you see, you will not find Eagle anywhere over here. So simply on the Autodesk website, search for Eagle and then you will get to the page that you expect it to be. Eagle PCB design and electrical schematic software. And it says Eagle is only available only with a Fusion 360 subscription. However, if you don't want to do that, just go here and click on the Eagle free download button. Just choose your operating system out of Windows, Mac or Linux and simply click on the download button. It will start downloading the Eagle free version. Now let's try to download and install this free version and see the limitations that comes with it. However, on the same page itself here, you will be able to get all other instructions. I'll do just open the installer now and install this software onto the computer and let's check. Just click yes here, accept the agreement, select a location if this is not comfortable for you and then install. So this is how you will be able to get Eagle free of cost still. The rest of the course remains completely same. There are no changes in the software as such. At the max, there will be more future additions which you will explore as you start using it. Let me just finish the installation and open it once for you. So here we launch Eagle now, just give it some time. And here Eagle starts. Now another change is you have to use your Autodesk account over here. If you don't have one, you can create account right there. I do have an account, so I'm just going to use my account. Uh, it sends a six digit code either on your phone or your email, whichever is chosen. I have one on my phone, so I'm just entering it over here. So this is mandatory. In the previous version of Eagle, it was not mandatory to sign into Autodesk in order to use Eagle, but now it is. And if you see, Eagle is now started. You can start a project over here. Just give it a name, my first project. And here, you can start and create a new schematic. Now what you see, it's some of the options would have been changed, but however, the commands remain the same. If you click on add or if you type add on the command prompt, you will start getting the same component box. The wildcard remains the same. So if I choose 7805 star 7805 and hit enter, 
then I'll get whatever 7805 versions they are there that are there just like that so nothing changes of course there are no limitations with schematic and with the board there is a limitation that you can create only a board of 10 centimeter by 6 centimeter in the free version which is enough for all the experimentation and if you want to pursue it for professional purpose you can always go for buying the licensed version which comes with a lot more features thank you for watching this video